friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow WW and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I have quite a big haul for you. We had to stock up on a few things from me being gone and I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing for dinners and Monday's meal prep. Definitely stay tuned you're not gonna wanna miss it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss any of the five videos that I upload every week. Down in the description box, I will link Nutrition Coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Cannot stress enough how important it is to know what you should be eating whether you're on WW or not, to be successful. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I have a pretty big haul. I went to both Walmart and Sprouts. Don't mind my crock pot. I have some beef stew for dinner in the crock pot. So let's jump into the haul. Let's start with Sprouts. So this I saw, I used the restroom, and they always have like a discounted area at Sprouts. And I saw this. This is the limited edition Three Wishes Pumpkin Spice Cereal. It has eight grams of protein and only three grams of sugar. I have heard mixed reviews on the Three Wishes cereal. I think it's kind of like that magic spoon. It was only $2.99 a box, where normally I think this cereal is like six or seven dollars a box so i picked it up i'm gonna try it out and then i grabbed some simple mills crackers these were on sale for 350 these are the garlic and herb i have been really loving crackers and cheese i don't know why i'm on a kick and i'm out of crackers that i like healthy crackers so i picked those up also saw these adorable sprinkles these are normally seven dollars which is insane but they were on sale for three dollars so i picked these up they're little just red green and white christmas decorations cookie decorations. They're supposed to be an all-natural sprinkle. I am filming my famous Christmas cookie recipe. You guys will see that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Seriously, best frosted sugar cookies ever, and I needed some extra sprinkles for those. I grabbed two of the Vermont Uncured Turkey Pepperoni Sticks. I love these, and I love having meat sticks on hand for quick, easy protein pack snacks. I also picked up the Seasonal RX Bar. I have not had an RX Bar in a hot minute. These have nice, clean ingredients. This is the gingerbread and these were on sale for $1.99 so I had to pick one up to try it out. I know they're pretty high in points but they're not high in calories. They have 12 grams of protein and the, uh, like I said they have nice clean ingredients. And then I grabbed this Sprouts Vegan Protein Powder. So in my boot camp, someone had posted in our group that this protein powder from Sprouts is really good, nice clean ingredients, and because it's a vegan protein, I guess it digests a little bit better than whey protein. So I picked it up to try it. This is the salted caramel. I want to say it was $2. So we're going to try it out, see if it's any good, and if it is, I'll probably end up grabbing a full-size tub. I also saw this feta cheese and couldn't pass it up. This is feta with cranberries. Doesn't that look so good? I was thinking this would be really good on a wrap or on a salad or even mixed into meatballs for cheesy cranberry turkey meatballs. Just sounded really good. It's seasonal, so I couldn't pass that up either. I also picked up some of the Sprouts brand of peppermint sandwich cookies. These were $2.50. You guys know I love mint anything, and like I said, I have a couple holiday parties coming up this month. I thought I could take some of those as part of a cookie platter. I also grabbed the all-white meat shredded chicken. This is for a recipe. I love this chicken. It is cooked. It's ready to go. Super, super simple. And then lots of vegetables. Sprouts is my go-to for produce, so no surprise, my little mini Persian cucumber. For fruit this week, I grabbed strawberries and blueberries. These were both a really, really good price. A couple of on-the-vine tomatoes for my lunch meal prep, a couple carrots for a dinner recipe, green onions for my lunch meal prep, Two huge, the biggest potatoes I've literally ever seen, russet potatoes. This is for a chowder that I'm making. You guys will see it in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I needed some big romaine leaf lettuce for my lunch meal prep. Oh, and a huge bag of little mini avocados, also for my lunch meal prep. And then I just love having avocados on hand. Yourself. 
So I grabbed a small thing of whole milk. I need whole milk for a couple of recipes. Number one is that chowder. I'm using this in place of heavy cream just to save on points, calories, and fat. So I just grabbed a small one, and then I am out of PB2. It's not something I generally use a whole lot of. I am an advocate of just having actual peanut butter, but I need a PB2 for my meal prep. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. He's been going through more than a gallon of milk a week, so I picked up two. Also asked for pre-cooked, ready to go frozen sausage patties so that he can make little breakfast sandwiches. He loves it on an English muffin with cheese and eggs, so I grabbed those. He requested spaghetti, so we're gonna make it a little bit healthier with the Barilla protein pasta. You can't tell the difference, and I didn't wanna use my last box of fiber gourmet because honestly, I probably won't eat a lot of this spaghetti so I just picked this up. That way he has a big batch of spaghetti for leftovers. I needed some better than bouillon for a recipe and I never have better than bouillon on hand. For my Christmas cookies, it calls for almond extract and I was completely out. So I picked up the Watkins Pure Almond. Two packs of fully cooked bacon. I need this for my meal prep as well as a dinner recipe. And this just makes my life easy. Bacon is so messy to cook. I don't care if it's in the oven, the air fryer. It's messy, so if I can, I always just grab fully cooked. A bag of light shredded cheese. This is for the chowder recipe. A huge bag of flour for baking. It is baking season and of course for my sugar cookies. A loaf of Wonder Bread for Troy. He requested just plain white Wonder Bread for sandwiches. I also needed some diced ham for that chowder recipe. Food coloring for my sugar cookies. I can't remember if I have any and I looked briefly in my pantry last night and didn't see any, so I just went ahead and grabbed a fresh batch. Troy's Dean's French onion dip. You guys know he loves this with his Fritos. He also requested a couple of cans of soup. So I grabbed hearty chicken and rotini and then a creamy tomato with basil. Lots of frosting. I use a mix of vanilla and cream cheese frosting. It's kind of my secret for my cookies. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video for the entire recipe. So I grabbed another vanilla and then two cream cheese frostings. A big container of old fashioned rolled oats. This is for my meal prep. I needed sugar because I am completely out of regular sugar. It's just not something I use very often. And this is an organic sugar and it was 30 cents more than the cheap great value sugar, so I grabbed that instead. Some hangers, I don't know if there's a hanger shortage because these were literally the only hangers besides kids one in the entire Walmart store. So I grabbed these, they are drip dry hangers, whatever that means, I just needed some hangers. And I have a couple of gifting things coming up. I have a Christmas party with my boot camp. I adopted an elderly woman for a Christmas gift and I also have a toy drive for boot camp coming up, so I grabbed a few things some of the little Hershey kisses and M&Ms these are going to go in the boot camp gift and for the elderly woman I needed candy canes for my meal prep wait till you see what's coming up in meal prep on Monday cannot wait and then for the toy drive I thought what kid wouldn't love this this is the slimy goop laboratory so it's a make your own slime kit so to go to boot camp on Saturday we have to bring a toy for the toy drive so I went ahead and grabbed that I thought that was perfect so I'm putting together the gift to take to my boot camp holiday party and it reminded me of a candle that I picked up for myself and then I loved it so much that I went ahead and grabbed another one to go into the gift for the boot camp party. And this is from the brand Time Yard and this is their 100% soy wax nice clean burning candle. I grabbed mine in the scent lavender and lemon. I love this scent. It is so fresh, but kind of floral and fruity. It smells very, very clean, and it's my favorite candle to burn in either the kitchen or the bathroom. The Time Yard candles are absolutely beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing with the amber glass jar, the black metal lid, and the beautiful black and gold label. They come in many different scents. I mean, there are several scents available, and you can pick this up right off of Amazon. It makes an absolutely fantastic gift for a secret Santa, a stocking stuffer, it would be an amazing stocking stuffer. Super affordable for the high quality soy candle that it is. And again, there are several scents to choose from. I really love the lavender and lemon only because again, like I said, it's beautiful in a bathroom, beautiful in a kitchen. So I'm going to throw one of the Time Yard candles into the gift for boot camp, along with some self-care types of things. Put together a little self-care, self-love package, which we all need during the holiday season. I love burning candles all day long. We always have 
candles burning in our house. I always have a candle on my desk, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the bedroom. I have candles everywhere and I've really fallen in love with these soy candles from Time Yard. So I'll make sure that I link them down below for you guys. Definitely check them out. Again, it would make an amazing gift for a candle lover or someone who you just want to give a little bit of self-care to this holiday season. So that is everything that I picked up for the week from both Walmart as well as Sprouts. What you don't see is a case of Coors Light and a case of Diet Coke. So let's jump into what's on my menu for dinner and what you'll see Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for dinners for the week and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So today's Saturday, out for dinner, leftovers. I don't cook on Saturdays. Sunday, I'm gonna do a taco night. Monday, I'm making cheesy ham and potato chowder. So that's what I needed, the ham, the potatoes, the whole milk, all the chowder ingredients for. Tuesday will be leftovers. Wednesday, I'm gonna do spaghetti. Thursday, I'm making a shepherd's pie. And then Friday, I always do a leftover night to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And then here's what you'll be seeing in my meal prep on Monday. So for breakfast this week, I'm making vanilla protein waffles. These are kind of a spin on a chaffle. I know you guys love chaffle recipes, so that's exciting. For lunch, I'm doing a BLT avocado chicken salad wrap. We're gonna do a low carb, high flavor, high protein lunch this week. And then for dessert, I'm making peppermint mocha candy cookies. I love peppermint anything. So I cannot wait for these. So stay tuned for meal prep on Monday. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up from Sprouts, Walmart, all the fun gift things I have. It is the season of giving and I love to give back to the less fortunate during the holidays. So I can't wait to give the elderly woman her gift and bring that toy to boot camp. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I upload videos five days a week and every Saturday is grocery haul day. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. See you in the next one. Bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear.